Leroy, I think it's really interesting that you decided to do this more stripped down album. So I'm kind of curious about <laughs> that process. Where that came from. Used, yeah, you're used to playing with the with the band, although the very first thing you did was all pretty much all solo. But so tell me about that. You know, there's a couple of different things that happened that kind of brought that to a head. Um, uh, Terry, my bass player, um, he says I was getting cranky writing for the <laughs> new album, and uh, and uh, I think when we played some gig where I did about three or four songs by myself, and I think those two things kind of just collided. It was kind of like I was while I was doing it, I was going, oh, this is kind of fun, just kind of stripped down and talking to the audience yeah. and just kind of, and then and I hadn't really taken it to the next logical step and then Terry the next day says you know maybe we ought to switch gears on that and you do a kind of stripped down version um, of a bunch of songs that you've got around you know because I write all the time and a lot of the songs don't necessarily make the album and uh, first I wasn't all that enthusiastic yeah. about it. I was like oh really it was kind of like just er, switch gears you know and uh, because I was writing for the band and um, but the more I thought about it, and it only took me about a day or so, and I started playing around, I thought, this is actually a kind of a cool idea. And instead of using old, a lot of old songs, I ended up writing a brand new yeah. record for it. Because I hate going back and redoing things. I'm just kind of one of those people that hates to, re I hate to re rehearse, and I hate, you know, I have to do it, <laughs> but I hate to go over the same stuff. And um, although eventually I ended up re-recording one of the older songs, but... Uh, for the most part, it just, yeah, it, it was the natural thing to do, which was kind of odd. I wouldn't have thought that. Were you um, more self-conscious about doing it solo and then also playing all the instruments yourself? No, I wasn't, I wasn't really uh, self-conscious about it. it. It felt real natural. Um, I wasn't really planning on adding all, a bunch of instruments. I was going to just do guitar. It was just going to be guitar. Yeah, just guitar and vocal, but... I guess the producer and me just kind of like, ah, oh, I had a bass right there. <laughs> so I just, I've got a little bass sitting around here, and so I just put that on, and then when I felt like I wanted a drum part, I've got a drum set here, so right. I just stuck that on. And uh, and then you even have, we're playing harmonica too. Yeah, and I played harmonica, and uh, yeah, it was just fine. I didn't add too much stuff, still kept it kind of stripped down, but... But uh, I didn't want it to be completely boring at the same time. No, so. I was thinking as I was listening to it, a little like Paul McCartney's first album, where oh, he did, he right. did every instrument too. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I, so I was thinking about that because it's obviously it's been it's that part's been done before. Sure. But the fact that you were able to do that because I know you've got a great skill as a a drummer and bass, you can pick you picked up and play the harmonica. Right. So it really worked, and you seem to add. Just the right instruments. You kept it stripped down, but just the right instruments. Well, luckily I can't play too much stuff. <laughs> I kept it in the, in the ballpark. And but, you didn't yeah. try to play instruments. No. You didn't know. There was no, no. clarinet on no. there. <laughs> yeah. No saxophone. Yeah. Oboe is very yeah. hard. <laughs> Sitar. You didn't even no, attempt that. No, I didn't go that. there. But it was... Um, so talk about the process, though, of doing it. Did well, you start just, just basically with a guitar? Yeah, I just sat here in this very room and... Um, just started playing around and came up with some ideas right away. Um, and luckily, just recently, I bought some, uh, a cheap kind of Pro Tools uh, rig for my um, computer. So I was kind of learning that at the same time. I'm very computer challenged or technically challenged. So that, that was so the that most was frustrating good, part. Frustrating, but really in the, the long run. Yeah, because I had to learn. You know, I yep. was constantly panic calls. How do you make it stop? You know, <laughs> <laughs> how do you make it go? But, um, yeah, so I kind of learned that and then uh, wrote the songs and would throw down an idea. And then uh, most songs I would kind of, after I had it, I would kind of get a click track and kind of play to that because I thought, in case I want to add something. Yeah. And, um, and that happened to be the case, so I was lucky. But it was a lot of fun, actually. And did, how long did it take you to do this? From the beginning, you probably had some songs ready and then you kept writing yeah i had some songs that i was going to do and they ended up not making it it's kind of funny because then i wrote some newer songs um it took me a two months three months somewhere in there I, I didn't really time it um and i had about 15 or 16 songs and then i just kind of whittled it down to what i thought were the, the best 10 11 songs out of there well one of the songs on here is um i really like is just not good enough oh and uh it's funny as I was listening to it, some of the lines in there, like, 
I like the way you hurt me. I like the way you use me. Uh, tell me I'm just not good enough. Um, you know, you listen to it and you go, it's either obviously very sarcastic or it's like, oh, man, this guy's He's really, really hurting, hurting and he just can't get out of this relationship. I think it's meant more tongue-in-cheek sarcastic. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you know, to every person it takes on a different meaning. So it's however you want to hear it. Um, but it's just being in that relationship where you, you do what you think is right, and then it's just never quite good enough, you know? It's all, it becomes a joke almost, you know? Sad joke. But. Yeah. But it was good. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, obviously, I sensed the sarcasm. Did you want right. to do sure. a verse and yeah. chorus of that? See. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm dumb, maybe I'm bright, maybe I'm slow, maybe I'm fast, maybe I fly, maybe I crash, maybe I'm in, maybe I'm out, maybe I sink, and maybe I swim, maybe you see me just the way I really am. Maybe I run, maybe I crawl, maybe I jump, Maybe I fall and maybe I stumble Maybe I mumble Maybe I fly a little too wide Maybe I'm not like all the rest Maybe you should just give me the test Just to see if I can really measure up Hell will I I like the way The way that you had me not like the way The way that you use me Not like the way The way that you tell me I'm just not good enough mm. Maybe I seem a little between A little confused A little bit used And maybe I'm weak Maybe I'm strong, maybe I know where I belong Maybe I'm like, like all the rest Maybe you should just give me the test Just to see if I can really measure up Hell will I not like the way The way that you use me Not like the way the way that you tell me, I'm just not good enough. Mm -hmm. I'm just not good enough. I like the way you tell me, I'm 